If you want your songs and even your beats streaming on major platforms like Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, and even social media platforms like TikTok, be sure to check out DistroKid. They are a music distribution company that won't touch any of your earnings and provides not only an easy music uploading platform, but also a list of other features that will help you promote, earn, and even split revenue at a yearly cost of only about 20 bucks. Get 7% off now by signing up using the VIP link in the video description. Check it out, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What is up, my people? This is the Kid DZD, a.k.a. The Drink King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Today, I have a very short video, but it is a powerful one. I'm going to give you some beginner basics on how to deal with your computer. That way, you can now deal with your music making software, whether it's the MPC software, Ableton Logic, whatever you're dealing with, your software is a major part of your computer. And it's always good to know a few techniques inside of your computer. That way you can deal with the files that are coming out of your software. I'm gonna take you through a few simple tips using the Windows computer. Mac users, you can use these tips as well. And I'm gonna show you just a few things that are very, very simple, but they help me out a lot in my music making process when I'm dealing with my computer. Without saying too much, let's dive into the computer and I'm gonna show you these tips real quick. Let's do it. Okay, the first shortcut that I'm gonna take you guys through is just something very simple. It's something that a lot of people really don't think about whenever they're trying to load files into the MPC software and drag them in. If you look at the screen, I have my MPC software open and I'm gonna drag a file into the screen. Now, what I found is that if you have something located on your desktop, like this file right here, what I see a lot of people do is if the MPC software is pulled up, they'll grab the MPC software and move it out of the way and then grab their file and drag it in. But one of the shortcuts that I use is if the software is in full view, I simply exit out of it. And then if you grab your file and you go down here to the, to the, the bar where your software is and you just hover over it, it'll pull the software up for you. Anything that you hover on at the bottom and all you can do is just drag and drop your file in right there. So you don't have to actually move your screen out of the way or, or, or put it to the side to get to your files. All you simply do is just exit out of it, grab your file from wherever it is in a folder or the desktop and drag it to your open icon right here. And it's gonna literally pull up if you just hover it over it. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how I save my files. But the reason why I'm gonna show you how I save my files is because I wanna show you the computer shortcuts that I use after I save my files when I'm dealing with them and they're already in a folder. So let's go on and take a look at this project right here. This project has a few tracks and I've already saved it. And the name of the track is called Hit It Up. And it has my drums, it has my low sample, high sample, 808, um, piano chords, bass synth, and a vocal track. Okay, so it's already saved, but now I wanna export all the stems out and get them in a folder. So I'm gonna hit Control, Shift, E, and I'm going to pull up the mix down screen. I'm gonna go on and make sure that it's set on Explode Tracks. And then I want my 24-bit 48K. And then I'm gonna go ahead on and hit export. Okay, now once I'm here, what I do is I take my beat title right here, which I've already saved the beat as, and I go ahead on and highlight just the title. And then I hit Control C. And what Control C does is Control C copies it to my actual clipboard on my computer, not just in the MPC software, but on my actual computer. It's copied with that, that shortcut, Control C. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the stems folder. I'm gonna hit new folder. I'm gonna label this folder stems, and then I'm gonna hit Control V to paste the name. There it is. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I just paste the name there, and then I'm gonna hit do it. Now I have my folder saved to actually save the, the stem files in. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save, and all of those files are now going to export. Let's go on and fast forward that. Okay, the stem files are all saved, so let's pull up the folder that it's located in. Here it is. Boom, I have my project data file, my MPC file, and also the stems folder that we created. Let's open that. Okay, now with these files, I'm gonna show you how I label my project. Now you guys know that these files right here, they have all of that MPC stuff that it puts inside of the file title. But really, really quickly, I'm gonna show you how I relabel them. Okay, now remember, I already have my beat title copied from when we saved the beat inside of the MPC software. It's already copied on my clip, on my computer clipboard. So here's the computer shortcuts that I use. Same thing, Control C and Control V, okay? So now I'm gonna go to my first track and I'm gonna label those, okay? So this is my drum track right here. Normally I would have my drum stemmed out in, in different files, different drum files, all in their own individual file. But just to save time, we just rendered out the whole entire drum track. 
So check this out how I get rid of everything really, really quickly. If you double click, it's gonna play the file. But if you just highlight it and click once, it's gonna now put this blue highlight bar ready for you to title everything. I'm gonna type in the name of the file, which is drums space, and then I'm gonna hit control V to paste it. There it is. Just like that. I have the what the track is, I have the, the title of the track and also the BPM of the track and the key of the track, just like that. And simply because I'm holding it on my clipboard, I can change all of my files very, very quickly. So let's do that. One click, I'm gonna title this one Low Sample, and then I'm gonna hit Control V and Paste. We go to the next one, I'm gonna click once, High Sample, and then hit Control V to Paste. I'm just literally relabeling all my files very, very quickly. This is the 808, one click, we call it 808, and then Control V puts my, my, my title there. Okay, and then piano hits, and then Control V. Very quickly, you can label your file. This one is piano chords. This one is the bass synth. And this one is the vocal. VOX, Control V. This is the audio track that we don't need, that it automatically renders out. So we don't need that, we can delete that. So look at how fast I labeled all of my tracks just using the copy and paste feature, Control C and Control V. You guys on Mac, you guys can do the same exact thing. It doesn't matter what software you're in. And you can label all your files very, very quickly without any hassle. Okay, next I'm gonna show you guys one of the shortcuts that I use whenever I want to move files and things like that on my computer. Very, very simple shortcuts again. This is how I do that. We're gonna use that same entire, that same exact project. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create two new folders, just like that. And we're gonna literally make an instrument folder and a drum folder. Check out how I do this. I change this to instruments. Okay, just, just kinda, kinda put an abbreviation. And then I change this to drums. Okay, I have an instrument folder and a drum folder. Now check out how easily I grab all of my files. If you click on a file, it's gonna click on one and when you click on another one, it's gonna select that one, just like this. Okay, but we don't wanna do that. What we wanna do is just select a bunch of them. So I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold control and all of the files that I click, it's gonna leave them highlighted. Check it out, let's do my drums first. That's the 808. This is the drums. And I would normally have a bunch of drum tracks that I would click. So let's say these are drum tracks as well. I would click this one this one, and you see how it highlights all of the files? It highlights only the ones that I'm clicking, and now I can move those. So for the sake of this video, we don't have any, any more drums to click, so all I'm gonna do is just hold control, click my 808, and also click my drum track. And then we're gonna grab those and drag them to the drum folder. And then for the instruments, I don't have to hold control and select them all like this one by one, because I have no more drums. So these are all instruments. So what I can do is I can go to the top one, hold shift, and then go to the last one and click. And it's gonna highlight them all, just like that. And then I can drag them to my instruments folder. Just that quick, I have all of my instruments in one folder, all of my drums in another folder. The next computer shortcut that I'm gonna show you is how to move things and how to copy things really, really quickly, okay? So let's say I wanted to copy these files right here back to my other folder, okay? What I can do is I can highlight all of the files, hit Control C, Hit the up arrow and go back to my other folder and then hit control V and, and paste them back. That's it. Now I have a copy of the fold of the files here and I have a copy of them here. Okay. If I don't want to do any of this and I want to undo what I just did, all I do is just hit control Z and it's going to undo my last action. Now remember, this is all computer shortcuts. And if you notice, computer shortcuts pretty much the same as the NPC shortcuts. So this is what helps you to move quick. Understanding how a computer works will definitely do that for you. What if I want to move something? Not copy it, just move it from one folder to the next. Let's go inside this drum folder and we're going to move these drums to a different folder really, really quick. So I'm going to highlight all of them like this and then I'm going to drag them to any one of these folders up here. Any one I put it on, it's going to move it to, to my folders up here. If I wanna move them back to the stems folder, I would simply drag them there. So let's do that. Let's move it back, back in the stems folder. Let's do it. Boom, they're gone, they're moved. Now, if I back out of this, there they are in my stems folder, just like that. Now, what we did is we just moved these files right here. But if I wanna copy them, I can do the same exact thing. Check it out. I can grab them, 
I can go here and then see how it says move. What I can do is I can hold control and all of a sudden it changes to copy. Without holding control, it's move. When I hold control, it changes it to copy. So now I can just drop them inside of the drum folder and it just copied those files right back to my drum folder. This is another quick tip that you guys can use. It helps me out a lot just to save my beats and back them up because you know sometimes our beats get corrupted, files are messed up. Now we can't pull up our projects. So what I do is I quickly back my projects up and it's very, very simple to do if you follow this. Check this out. I have a folder where all of my projects are. So let's say I'm in the NPC software. I'm making a beat. I'm doing what I do. Boom, boom, boom. Beat is done. I save the beat. All I do is I make sure that this folder is always in the background. It's my OneDrive folder right here. OneDrive. Okay, now you can use any folder you want. You can use Google Drive. You can use Dropbox. Any online cloud storage folder. Cloud storage means that your files are now saved in the cloud. So you can pull this up from anywhere on any computer. You don't have to worry about it. Anything you drop in here, it will sync anywhere because it's in the cloud. So when I have this OneDrive folder open in the background, I just have the folder hanging around in the background while I'm making my beat. I just minimize it and it's always there. What I do is after I'm finished making my beat inside of the MPC software, boom, I've saved it. I grab this folder right here where my beat is saved and I grab my OneDrive folder and pull that up. And all I do is simply create a backup folder, something like this, backup projects, and I grab it and drag it right to that. Drop it in and it's gonna drop it in there really, really quick. Now it's not a beat is stored, it's done. I don't have to worry about ever, ever losing my beat again because it's located in the cloud. And I just saved it very, very quickly. So this is a way to back your stuff up real quick as long as that folder is just hanging in the background of your computer. That does it for the video, guys. Believe it or not, a lot of people ask me, how do I operate my computer versus how do I operate my MPC software? I know some of you guys out there that are making music may or may not be computer literate, but that's why it's always important to make sure that you brush up on your computer skills. Remember, your computer controls everything, not just your software. So you have to brush up on those computer skills that way you can move very, very quickly, not only in your software, but when it's time to start doing things on your computer that apply to your music making software. If you guys got any value from this video, make sure you guys drop a comment below and also leave a like on this video as well. Your comments and your likes also help put this video in the eyes of a lot of people that it will help. Thanks so much for that. If you guys wanna send me a shout out or anything like that, Instagram is probably the best place to do that. Make sure you guys drop me a follow at the Drank King. Shoot me a DM. I promise I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for you guys tuning into the video. This is the Kid DZD, aka the Drank King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. And I'm gonna check you guys in the next one. Peace out. Purple world.